What's going on everyone? Now the Jeepers Creepers Reborn this came out and I reviewed it and I hated it. It is time to stop and rank all four of the Jeepers Creepers movies from the worst one to the best one. Now this is an interesting franchise because despite the controversial director of it, this is an interesting franchise because this is more of a horror but there's also like a creature feature franchise that you basically just sit and have a good time with so with that being said there are four movies to rank if you guys love rankings or such like this be sure to subscribe to my channel because i do have plenty more october horror content coming i'm going to kick this ranking off with obviously the worst of the worst of this entire franchise and I cannot believe I'm saying this because I was looking forward to this as a fan of this franchise. Jeepers Creepers Reborn coming in in last place. This is directed by Timo Vorinsola and look, I understand this movie went through a very troubled production with the pandemic getting in the way and they had to shoot a lot of this movie with green screen but as someone who is a fan of this franchise and I'm not gonna easily be offended by some of this stuff, this experience just really made me very upset. Cowards! And really disappointed as a fan of this franchise. Now, this movie's an hour and 30 minutes, it gets you straight to the points. I do think the interracial relationship, the idea behind that is interesting. I think the two actors, for what they are having to do in this movie, they give fine performances. I also don't mind the new actor who plays the Creeper. He's not Jonathan Burke, but he is good enough in the role, and I think he does the best he can for what little he's able to do in this. And there are some unintentionally funny moments where you can look at this as just a dumb time waster. Unfortunately, this movie suffers from the writing, a lot of the direction, which he tr the director tried. The green screen is terrible. You can tell that they're not in real location. And I get it. They had to do this movie during COVID, but it does not change the fact that a lot of the backgrounds in this movie look pretty fake as hell. Story, of course, had interesting ideas, but I don't think it was written well in the right place. The character development isn't the strongest. I don't care about a lot of these characters here. The kills, you don't even get to see them because they're just very badly edited and badly blurred out. And that is sad when the worst thing in your movie, when it comes to a new Jeepers Creepers film, you can't even get the kills right. If they do do a fifth one and sixth movie for this new trilogy, I hope you take some improvements. Despite the director of the first three, which we're about to get into, they've at least had a new creative team under the case of Jason Blum. But Jeepers Creepers Reborn, one, the worst horror movie of this year, possibly, and one of my least favorite films of 2022. But it can be unintentionally funny if you're in the right mood. Your place is going to be Jeepers Creepers 3. Now, this I do think is the weakest of the films for a lot of the reasons. Now, of course, we don't get the promise with the backstory, but it doesn't really bother with, along with it. I kind of feel like this is a movie is a little bit mismarketed when it comes to that. So the problems we had, I know the problems that they had with trying to make this movie, and then they had you can only see this for a Fathom Night event and such. And the original script for this was going to have Trish, Giselle, and the dad from the first one, Taggart. Come together in this epic third final battle with Trish getting revenge on the Creeper for what he did to Derry. And it was going to have this awesome conclusion when it comes to the Creeper. You're going to find out the truths and the origins of the story. The movie does kind of do that so when it comes to the backstory, but we don't really get to see any of it because they don't take the time to tell us about it. One of the biggest issues when it comes to this movie, if you're going to go that route, go that route. Also, they really didn't do themselves a favor by making this a prequel 
to Jeepers Creepers 1 and Jeepers Creepers 2. And I personally do feel like this would have worked better if you just kept the story that they had. The actors are fine. PG isn't the greatest. Some of the writing isn't the greatest. The direction is fine, but like I said, this is a little bit of a stepping stone movie. But for what we could have had in the plan quadrilogy, I think it's fine. It's not the worst movie of 2017, but it is one of the biggest disappointments for not living up to its promise. Coming in top two, these two are pretty easy. The first one, of course, is gonna be the original Jeepers Creepers. I remember watching this as a kid and yeah, I would just make fun of the title, but as soon as that movie starts, and it's, I still have a lot of fun with it. I think it's a very good story about a brother and sister who's on their way home for spring break, even though they're in college. They are investigating, and then they go to this church, they see things they're not supposed to see, and then the creeper comes after both Trish and Derry. I think Gina Phillips and Justin and Long are very good in this. Surprise, we don't see Gina Phillips a lot in movies anymore because she was great here. Justin Long, he had a great career and still now, I just saw him in Barbarian, which my review of that is up. Something Break, he does a very good job as a creeper. Patricia Belcher, I think is the good as Giselle. There is some solid direction of writing despite the art from the artists and knowledge the hundreds and thousands of people involved with these movies. I can't separate my love for this movie or the next movie I'm going to talk about because of one person who did commit crimes. When there are hundreds and thousands of people involved with this movie. It has some great tension. I like the simplistic story. I think the interesting character development is there. I like the great makeup effects. You get some good kills. A pretty solid score. Only reason why I would not give this movie a 5 out of 5 is because I do not like the downbeat ending. But at the same time, it kind of fits for a movie like this with the character like the creeper. So... But despite that little issue, I still think Jeepers Creepers 1 is a fun time. But as my number one favorite film in this franchise is the one movie I watched the most, and that's going to be Jeepers Creepers 2. It is bigger, it is better, but it does have its problems when it comes to some of the characters. Some of these characters are not the most likable, especially the character of Scotty, which I freaking hate that character. There is some of the character decisions when it comes to Minxy, where how she's getting the visions, where she even points out in the movie she can't explain it. it some shoddy CGI, this was 2003, is not the best. Not the best writing, but the performances I do think are fine. I like Ray Wise as the dad who wants to get revenge for the creeper, for what he did to his son kidnapping him. It, it, I do like the fact that this takes place after the second one, and it's day 23 of the Creeper. Like the most likable characters here, but some of the unlikable ones here, you do want them to die here. I do like the sucker that's only in one location that features characters that are racing against the clock. Jonathan Breck gets to shine throughout this entire movie, taking people left and right, picking them out, killing them one by one, them having to fight against them, some impaled in the head, he gets have to replace a new head. He uses his wings. He gets to use his weapons. I do miss the truck in this movie. The pacing of this movie is a little shoddy. It's a little slow pace. But once the creepers on screen every couple of minutes, and when you get into the big battle between Taggart, played by Ray Wise, and the creeper and these kids, it is all in all a fun, epitastic experience. Jeepers Creepers 2, still awesome film. I think it's an underrated sequel. This is the one I watched the most right next to the first one. It's the one I have a blast watching the most. And it's just a silly B-movie pop, B popcorn creature feature film. It's one of those movies you can put in your DVD player or watch on your phone or watch on TV. And you just have, have a bucket of popcorn and enjoy it. 
well that's gonna do it for the video that you just watch i will have my channel here so you will like to see anything here click the channel icon subscribe for more i will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here so in case you want to see what i'm about as always stay up assassinist join the up assassinist and you guys keep it cool